You just want to make it even two for everything? Two thousand bucks? Yeah. Hey guys, today I am buying out an eBay store. A viewer named Daniel reached out saying that he wants to get out of reselling, he wants to focus on woodworking, so he's getting rid of his inventory. He sent me a link to a store and it was about 270 items. There's a lot of good stuff and he also said he has like some horror VHS tapes, like some vintage t-shirts and some Hulk comics and action figures. We talked a little bit about price, but until I really get there and see it, I don't think we'll be able to negotiate a final price on everything. He said it's a lot of stuff, so I made space in the van and brought a lot of empty totes, so if we do make a deal, hopefully I can fit it all in here. How's it going, man? It's good, how are you? Good, it's good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Put you got a nice setup back here. Yeah, I was lucky enough to have uh, work throwing away a ton of metal cabinets. Oh wow, that's nice. Those things aren't cheap. No, but I mean, I bought some at estate sales, but I was lucky enough to have work throwing them away. Yeah. So like, like listed inventory for the most part was in like three main cabinets. Okay. Well, not listed anymore. Right. But this is all was listed. The, uh, these two shelves and this, that was just my creepy crawler. But. What's the story on the Miss Pac-Man machine? Uh, it works real good to hold them boxes up. <laughs> <laughs> you ever, uh, you ever, let, you ever hold on to something for somebody and they never come back and get it? Oh yeah. This is my brother. He said, "Well, you, you can hold it for a little while, and uh, I'll be back to get it." He's also got a motorcycle over there too that I can't get rid of. Oh jeez. But it doesn't work. The back's, it's got all the internals, but it's like it's rusted. It's old. If, if you don't get it soon, I'm gonna have to like. I mean, I want the space. Yeah. It's got an awesome look to it. It does. It's even if it doesn't work, I think someone wanted it in like a man cave or something. Just yeah, to, for sure. And you can just get a flat TV in there, probably. And, uh, yeah, yeah now they've got all those raspberry things. You could just rig up, you know, all the arcade games to it. Yeah. It would be cool. I mean, if someone wants a part, piece to part it out, I guess. That's awesome. Like everything, every cab has something. In it. Like none of this is listed, but I have like. Uh, um. What are they called? Filter Queen? Okay. A filter and a vacuum. They're pretty expensive. I don't have a 9 volt charger to test this. What is that? A Zenith Data Systems? Like uh, Dookie no. Hauser. No way. Like I don't I don't have anything to test it. I don't know. Wow. So, like I, I mean they still sell for parts like not working. Parts, right. Yes, but... Yeah you got a lot of stuff man. Yeah. And you said you got a Hulk collection? You need a packing, you need some packing supplies? Oh gosh, you got a ton of them. Man. You need some padded fat lyrics? I got five cases. Wow. Well, my work gets them too. Okay. And they have like 10 and they're like, we just got four more and we don't need them. I'm like, wow. shit, I'll take them. Heck yeah. I do have a Hulk collection, but unfortunately, because I don't sell it, it's behind like my death pile. So it's in that cabinet. Oh, wow. <laughs> like. So this is your death pile right here? That and that over there. Oh man. Not really death pile like per se, but that's the Yeah. Box. There it like in here there's also stuff that I want they're just mine, I put it in here. Right. But like I've been doing online auctions, so I got like uranium Vaseline glass. Oh nice. Like I think I mean I think I paid forty for it, but I don't have a way to test it to see if it glows, you know. Right. So I was waiting to buy one of those. The black light? Yeah. Yeah. I got some golf clubs, but I mean and I recently went to a Ben Overstock store, so I got a bunch of stuff in there I haven't even listed because I talked to you before I listed it. Yeah. I don't, like, I started with about 20 boxes of books, and I whittled it down to three that are worth sold comps 10 or above. Okay. I, like, I don't care if it's listed for whatever amount. If it's not selling, I don't want it. You sure, know what sure. I mean? So I threw a lot away. But we can move this. You can look at that. I mean, is there some listed inventory not up there? <laughs> this is my crazy. Oh, my God mug collection yeah that's a ton yeah i was gonna open up an antique booth like uh at Ke on kellogg avenue or something yeah just have three things and like say it's muggy it's muggy in here or something <laughs> and have a bunch of mugs and just stuff collectibles I yeah find. that's funny are those candles down there yeah the big crazy ones they were all listed like the holland house candle oh yeah those are cool man heavy too yeah Jeez. yeah the ship that's i don't think i sold any because the ship i had like right i had to do i mean i guess if i put it in a large flat rate but yeah man you got a bunch of stuff yeah i got a problem with buying but we all i, I think all resellers itself. have a buying problem yeah. 
I get, I probably have 20 Polaroid cameras over there. Really? I really wish I would have sold them when that one company was buying them. Oh, yeah. But I, again, I was going to put it in a vintage booth. I was going to have like a cabinet of like Polaroids and I buy some yeah. film just so people could do it. Sure. Like this cabinet's all tools, but I mean, just have random. I have Hulk collection stuff everywhere, though. Just comics and Hulk stuff. But. This stuff is the stuff that if you don't, if you want to look through here and see if there's anything you want, if not, I'm just going to flea market because I really am. I just want to get back and do, I want to do woodworking and stuff. Yeah. I have, I have a decent job. I don't need to, I, I'll never stop reselling probably. I love it. It's so much I, fun. Yeah. Yeah. It is the thrill of the hunt. Oh yeah. So I, I don't know if you want to. Okay. Well, um. Let's see the stuff, like get the stuff listed or what, the stuff that was listed, but this is probably a lot of money in here i don't know what you're interested in well i can start digging through and see anything you want to do man. i brought some empty totes so i can pull them like, out you can and... use any of these you want to okay and obviously if you're buying a bunch of stuff you can get in i would like to keep these to last but if you get into these then you can use the other ones too i just bought them but I okay seen it. i brought 10 totes so these were on I sale for be ten dollars recently oh really yeah. the yellow one black one i heard the uh, nike is going to stop doing golfing stuff they stopped making clubs a while ago um, but I guess they might be getting out of it all together. I don't know. Oh my God. Those are a bunch of fridge magnets. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. They're so like super old ones in there too. They're really, I actually went in the stage to come off the fridge too. I like, I don't know if I can sell these, but they're cool. Yeah, they are cool. I just enjoy looking through all of them. That's exactly. neat. That's the problem with most of the stuff I buy. Like if I enjoy it, someone else might. You know? Right. Uh, Twisted sister records. Oh, wow. We're not going to take it. Anything Individually, else? they didn't seem like they were selling very well, but I've seen lots oh, go for a that, lot. That's cool. Quite right. Jurassic World? Yep. Is that what the JW is? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Itty bitty little arms. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. This is neat. Yeah, a little kick a penny in the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Jurassic Park. That's cool. Old clock. I have the Jurassic Park walkie talkie somewhere too. Do you really? In one of the bins. Oh man. Yeah. One for each day. Wow. Handmade. Yep. Sure. That's cool. Holy cow. Yeah, that's a lot of single stitch, man. Man, you got a ton of clothing? If it's not single stitch, it was a, a brand or a design I knew would be well. Yeah. Peanuts. That's neat. Like that Les Miserables or whatever. Uh -huh. That's an old shirt. Like, And they remade it recently. Istanbul. Edwin Road. Like Renaissance from 1986. Fan of the Where are you going to find a Renaissance shirt from 1986? Huh. New York City with the Twin Towers? Yeah. That's wild. There's a bunch of wrestling VHS. Yeah, that's the ones that have some. Now, I looked all these up, and these are only maybe $8 to $12 each. There's no home run. I probably do like lots and stuff. Yeah, this is this is ones that weren't worth that, but they're wrestling. So this, uh -huh. specifically, I would do as a lot, but the rest of you could do smaller lots. And yeah. So these are the ones that were already listed. You had listed, okay. Yeah, man, add them to the pile. Like, look at this. This is just cool old artwork. Isn't that Castle neat? of the Walking Dead. Yeah, that's really neat. <laughs> Satan's cheerleaders. What? <laughs> oh, my God. This one I had uh, $24 on. I had two watchers. Midget wrestling bloopers. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> that's crazy. Like, there's stuff in there that's probably worth $100, but this guy here is, like, the prized of them all, though. Yeah? This the Amigo, the 19... I think 70-something? 1974 Amigo. This is, like, an $80 figure because he's complete. Wow. He has his pants. He has all of his appendages. Because <laughs> you get them all... If you look online, they're missing an arm or something because there's, yeah. like, little tiny brackets in there to hold them in place. Holy cow. That's cool. Where'd you find that? 
I go to uh, I, there's a really cool shop I go down to, it's in Wisconsinville called uh, House of Plastic. Okay. And they just have tons of cool old stuff. Most of my collections come from them or just yeah. other places I buy on eBay or something. Nice. But I'm just tired of collecting. Like, I have tons of comics and all that kind of stuff, but I'm like, I got to stop, man. Yeah. Looks clean. You know what I mean? Like the head and everything? Yeah. He sits right up there. I, he sits literally. I have him hanging from right here all the time. That's cool, man. But obviously, if I get rid of my cult collection, I want to. I don't want to keep anything because then it'll make me want to keep going again. Sure. No, I understand. Oh, this is cool, man. I remember these. Yeah. The clear phone. Yep. Because I like this. I have a bunch of stuff that's nostalgia. Yeah. Like that's why I have like this. You're gonna like Jurassic Park stuff. I was gonna make a cabinet in my house with nostalgia. I'm like, I gotta stop. That's yeah. what I told myself. Like, you gotta quit buying and stuff. Just I to, know the feeling. You've like, got a really good eye, though. Like, you you pull a lot of good stuff. That's right. Seriously. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Oh, Goosebumps folders. Man, that's cool. <laughs> Donald Duck. Wow. See, like, just more Hulk stuff. Like, this is brand new. Well, not the box is open, but it's brand new in there. Here's something cool, too. Dead stock. Oh, that's Rachel awesome. Dead. This is super cool one. Dead, like these are not just one of those. I got multiples of dead stock. And they're from the 90s, actually dated. 96. Wow. Oh man, those are killer. Are you thinking 200 for the mugs? <laughs> uh, yeah, just get rid of them. And then what are you thinking for the cabinet? I don't know, man. That's a, for everything with the comics. And anything we find, Hulk, I guess, like six hundred. Okay, and that's with the bin you just pulled out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For just like anything Hulk related, I guess you would say. Okay, so we're at seven hundred on your store, two hundred on the mugs, six hundred for Hulk, brings it to fifteen hundred, and then what do you need for kind of the rest of the piles of stuff that I made? And then what I've got here. You just want to make it even two for everything? Two thousand bucks? Yeah. Let's do it. All right, cool. I appreciate you working with me. No problem. All right, guys, I'm back at the warehouse. I've got everything unloaded. I spent a little over two hours at Daniel's place just rooting through everything, shooting the breeze about reselling. He has a really good eye, so there's a lot of cool stuff that he had bought that he was showing me, and I bought a ton of stuff from him. I spent $2,000, and my van was absolutely packed. I didn't have enough space to get the rest, so I'm going back next week for the rest. I'm not gonna dig all this stuff out, but I'll at least go through a few boxes and show you guys some of the pieces I got. So right here we've got the big vise, or clamp I guess it is. He showed me the wrench made by the Charles Parker Company. This thing weighs a ton. I mean, an absolute ton. Um, I'm not sure the maker, you can kind of see it. It says tool and die department, Providence. I'll have to put that under a magnifying glass to get the name on that. We've got a big box of comics. And then there's a lot of these little Hulk figures. I don't know much about comics, so I'll have to do a little bit of research on these and see what's worth some money and what, you know, just needs to be lighted up. Incredible Hulk, Future Imperfect. Here's the same thing, part one and two. So I think he had these separated by series, possibly. Yeah, so here is Immortal Hulk. Yeah, there's a bunch of comics in here. I ran out of totes, so I started having to fill some Ikea bags. So let's see, we've got Power Punch Hulk. This is Marvel Legends Icons. That just has a really cool look to it. Here's Hulkbuster Iron Man from Avengers Infinity War. Got some Funko Pops. There's a Blue Hulk, Red Hulk, Purple Hulk, Orange Hulk. There's a lot of loose figures. I think these are Spawn. I'm pretty sure these are Spawn. Some crazy looking ones. Look at that thing. I do not know a lot about Spawn figures, unfortunately. We got another Funko Pop. Oh, that's cool. Hulk busting out of Hulk Buster. That is awesome. I saw six or seven of these. Let's see, Smash Comic Box Display Set. So I guess you put all those little figures in there. 
We've got more comics in here. Rampaging Hulk, Marvel Shadows and Light. We've got little minifigures, Q-Fig, a bunch of Marvel cards. I just sold some Marvel cards recently. We've got some DVDs. Oh wait, this is the TV series, that's cool. Over here we got Marvel Legends, Wolverine and Hulk. Here is Titan Hero Series Hulk. There's one with a comic book in the back, that's cool. Galactic Series, or Galactus Series. And I think this is another Hulkbuster. And that one has a comic too. We got another Hulk with a comic. A few more Funko Pops. There's Green Hulk and Gold. It might even be the whole series, I don't know. Gold, green, another gold, or the orange, purple, red, and blue. Here's another Legends. Here's a big one. Let's see, Gallery Diorama. Here's another big one. Marvel Legends. He's got a angry face and a relaxed face. Here's some outdoor John Deere tractor lights. <laughs> How cool is that? Got another Diorama. This is the same pose as the other one, I think as the red one, but this is the green version. All right, I'll open up one more tote for you guys. And this one we've got some vintage, like plush and toys and stuff. Beefy Frank cons. That's pretty cool. Got some Simpsons photo mosaic puzzles. Doing the plastic. There's Homer drooling and daydreaming about a donut. There's Bart Simpson with his skateboard. Got Ren and Stimpy figures. Twizzler toy. Heinz 57 plush. Yeah, there's a bunch of cool stuff in here. Daniel, thank you again for the deal on everything. Hope we can do business together again soon. That is it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.